two people are 50 feet apart. One of them starts walking north at a rate so that the angle formed between them is changing at a constant rate of 0.01 radians per minute. At the rate, at what rate is the distance between the two people changing when theta is equal to 0.5 radians? Now what we know from here is that first of all, we know that the two people are 50 feet apart. So that's a given. Uh, we also are told that the angle is changing and we're given that rate of change as 0.01 radians per minute. That's going to be our d theta. What we're looking for is when the rate is changing between the two people, that's going to be dr dt. At the moment, theta is equal to half a radian. 0.5 is a half, I assume you know that. Okay, so let's start by drawing a picture. Um, we know here that we have the two people and the one person starts here and begins walking north this way and as he's walking or he or she's walking this theta right here is changing and the distance between them is also changing my pen has a delay to it so that's what we know uh, we're told that d theta dt is equal to 0 0.01 radians what we want to find is dx dt that's when this distance right here is changing when theta is equal to 0 0.5. I'm just going to erase this for a second because I come back to this to form our equation. Now the next part is that we do want to come up with an equation. We have six different trig functions we can use. I'm going to suggest using secant. Uh, remember that secant is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. I'll use this in blue. So the hypotenuse is x, and the adjacent leg is equal to 50, so the secant of theta is x over 50. Why I suggest using secant instead of cosine or any other trig function is that it, we don't, we're not required to know the value of x to substitute. And since we don't know the value of x, it gives us a nice little workaround. You can, you can consider that a pro tip. Let's move on to differentiating. So when we differentiate the secant, of theta, that's going to be secant theta tangent theta, and don't forget your d theta dt. The derivative of x over 50 becomes 1 over 50 dx dt. And now we can begin to substitute our different values. So we know that theta is going to equal 0.5 radians. That's the instant we're trying to find out the rate of change. We also know d theta dt is equal to 0.01 what we're looking for is dx dt. When we solve for dx dt, we find out that dx dt is changing at a rate of 0 0.311 feet per minute. Now, don't forget to answer your question as a complete sentence. So, the distance between the people is increasing at a rate of 0 0.311 feet per minute when theta is equal to 0 0.5 radians. The correct answer is B.